zero, thirty-two, five. We scan that. We got that. Let's sig, for instance, this. We get a signature. We sig this. We get a signature. Beautiful. Everything's everything's fine. Probably a help would be cool. Don't you think? Let's think about help. So we would go to CLI. Well, help is a trickier one because that means we need to kind of create, define a command which would take the context, which would take the context, like all of this. So, well, let's actually just do it. Now all we need to do is just move this over to, to, to this and it will work like magic. So what I did was create this CLI command trait, which has an invoke function, which accepts arguments and the context, which is right here, and returns a result, and a help function, which returns a string for help. And they're all registered on this CMD definition structure, which has a long arg long command name, a short command name, an invocation handler, and a help string. And invocation handler is this function, which is going to be a raw function which accepts an argument and a context and returns a result. And they're invoked by this, it's implemented by this by the structure and it just invokes it and it invokes right here and that's that's about it so the help string it essentially combines the long function name the short function name and the help string into one co cohesive picture and then what we did was just go through go through this Command, pa command parser, which had all the commands defined. Right here we have quit and Q, and remove all unnecessary commands. Like quit, it alters the CLI, so it quits out of the CLI. But other commands, well, they, are, they just perform a particular action. So what we did was define them in this array, which has a list of the CMD definitions, which define the name, the long name for the command, the short name for the command, and the handler, which is exactly the same, except that now we just use CTX dot everywhere in every single place, which is quite a bit of change, but I think it's best to do it right here and now. We could destruct them, the structure to, to not have to access the uh, through the ctx dot but i think this is kind of more explicit and and better so they define all the things like reset all contact state like print found matches all that stuff it defines that so these handler functions what they do is they return a result either okay or an error for when for when there is an error in invocation or like argument parsing. For instance, right here it says perform a scan first. And right here everything is fine. It could fail to create a pointer map, but it will print an error. Then it has the global references. It has the sig maker, which like returns an error if there is an error or like invalid usage if it doesn't parse the arguments correctly. Invalid usage is used everywhere. Like right here it has invalid usage and whenever an invalid usage or like any error happens it will print the help string and it's all now compacted into this smaller well genuinely much much smaller loop which is has an, one special case for quit it has one special case for quit and one special case for scanning and that's about it and then it just goes ahead and does the tries to invoke the command if it's not quit 
and if it fails, it prints the error string, as you can see. And that's it. <laughs> that's essentially it. So we need one more thing, and that is help. And now, as we run it, we should be able to have help strings and all that stuff generated for us. So, H, right? So, command reference, quit Q, quick, quit the CLI, help H, show this help, reset, reset context stage, print, pointer map, globals, sig maker, offset scan, write, anything not in this list will be interpreted as. So we just, All right? I guess one final extra, extra touch could be is... Hmm, yeah. So it will be let line equals get line. And let's do it like so. So it will be a loop, which will be a print. Scan flow. Get line. Okay. Okay, dot okay, a map error, other failed to get line. Yeah. Okay, so there is a problem. Can flow at this we should probably print ctx dot process dot name info name and we need to somehow flush this dot flush here we go <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Scan flow at structs bin dot exe. It doesn't have the full name, but that is a problem for another person. Well, it's a problem solved in 0 0.2. So we have that. And we have help. You know? think that's so <laughs> what do we have we have uh, our prompt which allows us to do something like i6464 then we can do stuff like sig this which doesn't work invalid global variable but if we do off the scan yes what do we want to in five it scans all that stuff, then we're able to see, for instance, this. And voila! It's, I think it's pretty beautiful. And we can do str utf16. What is it? View. And we do write once. Vove. write all ones both <laughs> look at that <laughs> that's pretty beautiful now we've got both oh i <laughs> didn't like that uh, well what can i say 
Um, is it gonna work? I don't think so. It it just broke. Well, anyways, we got this covered. It panicked. Huh. Where did you panic? 